You remember sitting around with your friends growing up talking about what it might be like to be an adult? What you would do if you had adult money? What would you do? What would you do? Well, it's been some years and I've obtained adult money. And who would have thought I'd be using it to make every state's most famous sandwich? So I made a list of every state's most famous sandwich and randomly picked from it. That'll probably be the last time I do it like that because that took forever. So next time around, I'm using a little spin wheel, flip a coin or some shit. Anyway, the first sandwich we ended up with was the Monte Cristo from New Hampshire. Sure, Shire, who cares? Now the first thing to note about this sandwich is that it's simply a variation of a French sandwich. I'm not gonna try and pronounce the shit, Google it or something. So apparently a lot of my fellow Americans felt the same way about the mispronunciation because early adaptations have it listed as the French sandwich, the toasted ham and cheese, and other lackluster titles. It wasn't until the mid 50s that in Southern California it finally received its name, the Monte Cristo. And even beyond that, it wasn't until the late 1960s that it seen a surge in popularity due to the fact that it was released in multiple restaurants in Disneyland's New Orleans Square. Now how this became the most famous sandwich of New Hampshire is beyond me, but let's see what they're talking about. So we're starting off with some buttermilk bread here, some deli sliced ham, Gruyere cheese. Go ahead and stack that up a couple few times, all nice and even. Uh, the recipe does call for mayo and mustard on the bread. I don't like mustard like that, so I just put a little mayo. Anyway, once you get that all squared away, you come over to this egg dip, give it a couple flips, make sure it's all distributed evenly or else it'll cook weird. Come over to your pan here. Uh, if you don't flip it consistently, you do run the risk of burning it pretty quick, so keep an eye on that. Uh, once you're back at your cutting board, go ahead and give it the good old diagonally cut because let's be real, if you prefer your sandwich cut horizontally, you were probably raised by a hoe, but that's besides the point. Peep this cross section. God dang. See, that's what I was talking about, them layers being even. Because if them layers ain't even, your sandwich, it ain't cheesing. I snuck a piece of bacon in one of them. See what it do. Mm, so good. Shout out to the French. 